10. And the Obama Foundation honors Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today with a day of service on the city's south side. Hundreds of volunteers from the foundation and the Honeycomb Project join forces at the south side YMCA to prepare box meals, make cards for seniors, plant seeds for vegetables, and pack self-care kits. A lot going on. Mike Stramanis is the executive vice president of external affairs for the Obama Foundation. He's joining us there now. Hello to you. Hello to you. Uh, happy Dr. King Day. Uh, I you use this phrase. I hear it a lot. It was a day on for many of us and not a day off. And I see you're working as well. Good to be with you. <laughs> happy to be here. Happy to be here and happy to have you. OK, so let's talk about what went on today, because I just rattled off a list of things that you were doing to give back as a day of service. So talk to me about how it went. Uh, it was just a joy. You know, it's been two years since we've been able to come together this way. You know, it wasn't safe, uh, obviously, for a couple of years, so we put it on a hiatus. But we brought together um, at our partners, uh, the South Side YMCA, which will be right across the street from the Obama Center, organized by the Honeycomb Project, which is an organization that allows families from all over the city to volunteer. And we had Growing Home, a, a, a group called Connections for Abused Women and Their Children, the Love Fridge, Nourishing Hope. All these organizations came together with all these volunteers to, to give back in just the ways that you said. And so it was a perfect way to spend such an important day. Hmm. Mike, not just on this day, but all year long, how does the Obama Foundation pick and choose the projects it wants to get involved with? Uh, well, we, one, we try to spread the love. And so there are so many different organizations all across the city that are doing work to help each other. Um, we do a lot of research. We have teams of folks who uh, work in community engagement, um, who go out and, and talk to our neighbors, talk to the people we have relationships with. And, and we also want to connect it to the work that's going to happen at the Obama Center. So, um, you know, we're going to have uh, a, a teaching garden a community garden that'll be there. And so we want to be involved in showing people how to grow their own healthy food. We're going to have a branch of the Chicago Public Library there. So we like to work with organizations that are dealing with literacy. And of course, those organizations that are helping uh, support young leaders, um, whether it's through the work of the My Brother's Keeper Alliance or with young ladies with through Girls Opportunity uh, or even more. And then finally, we have a lot of great schools, including the High Park Academy High School. It's right across the street from the center. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will love, love working with and inspiring the next generation. And uh, over the course of the last few months, obviously, we've been talking a lot about construction at the Obama Center. How are things moving along? Well, things are moving along, uh, you know, not fast enough for, for all of us. We want to make sure that we're open and running by 2025. So we're putting pressure on everybody to get things done. Uh, this is the first major construction project that I've been involved in. Mm -hmm. And just to see uh, the massive numbers of workers that are there has been impressive. But everybody that I've spoken to who has done construction has said this is the most diverse construction project that they've ever seen. Not just the workforce, which is incredibly diverse, but also the businesses as well. And, and on such a complicated piece of business, I think it's one of those opportunities to really demonstrate that diversity is a strength. Yeah. Um, and we love that we have people who are going to be able to drive by the Obama Center a woman, a mom's going to be looking at her kid and said, I helped build that. Yeah, we sent the helicopter up to take a look, and it uh, looks like the parking decks are, are laid there, and this, the skeleton of the building is starting to take shape. Oh, I see. You're, yeah, you're, you're tracking it. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. right. The tower is We've up. got a helicopter at our disposal. It's easy. It's great. All right, looking good. Well, we'll go ahead. You know, go ahead. Well, I guess, look, I just want to tell people this. We aren't waiting until the Obama Center is open to make a difference. The Obamas want to make an impact right now. So go to Obama.org, see how you can get involved to help us bring uh, kind of the mission of the Obama Foundation to life. We want to inspire people uh, to get involved and be leaders in their communities. So Mike. come check us out online and, 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 and pay attention to our progress. Mike, thank you so much for being with us and giving us an update uh, on two fronts this afternoon. Thank you.